Never mind. Prepare for rivals. King Gay Bubbles King. <laughs> Jackson! Bro, dude. Toggle, Fatal Faction, Red. Toggle, Zoo, Blue. Right, we're in, boys. And welcome to Liam. Hello there. Klopson. Hello, motherfucker. And anybody else who's out there? Ew. Welcome. So, what have we got going? Um, A couple, or oh, three long swords for the defenders, a couple of little short swords, a couple of pole axes, a good chunk, so at least five... Muskets and a longbow. The attacking team have got four or five pole axes, four short swords. Okay, interesting. Unit wise, good chunk of shield maidens, good chunk of Shenjis, obviously no Falcos and no Sifor. Oh, apologies, no Sifirophanoi. Uh, they also have a number of cavalry. The defenders, I didn't quite get to it because I'm terrible. Yigin Silig. Yigin. Yigin Silig Beg. Hello, motherfucker. How are you doing, bud? How you doing? And Bubbles is gay, we can all agree. That is something that's true. So Bubbles for you. Why are you gay? And by the way, guys, quick question. Does my voice sound nice and clear to you guys? So I've got a new microphone. Um and I tested it and it sounded good to me, but obviously I couldn't test it in a live situation. So hopefully you guys can hear me nice and crystal clear and with my beautiful voice. <laughs> But I hope you can hear me nice and clear for this. And, um, if I'm too loud, tell me. If I'm too quiet, tell me. And I'll see if I can adjust some settings and make it more comfortable for you guys to listen to me blather on about random sheet. Right, don't worry about the fact that it says that Fatal Faction have uh, got a couple of guys missing. Um, because the UI is basically kaput. And um, for some reason it doesn't show all of the people that are on there. Um, that is not ideal, but we'll get around it. Sax guy's so nice it plays it twice. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, oh, I thought we had a bit of lag there. Let's get... Oh, I love it. There we go. Get up into the sky as quick as possible. And apparently for some reason, my minimap's tiny again. Let's have a look what's going on. Okay, there is in-game sound. I thought for some reason there was no in-game sound. Then I was like, what is going on, PC? Don't do this to me. So, because we are playing CBL rules, extra artillery can be created, as far as I am aware. Unless rules have been changed again. Obviously, the defenders are up on culverins and cannons as we speak, trying to get rid of as much... Oh, no, they're not actually going for the siege equipment. They are actually going for units. So, they're trying to get rid of these stalwarts here as we speak. They're trying to damage stuff. The attackers have already gotten down the breach on the eastern side. Let's have a look. Or at least one of the walls on the eastern side. The second one will look like one they hit and it's down anyway because they've got the bombards there. So that should be easy money for the attackers to get down. Um, looks like the concentration wise, the attackers are actually concentrating on the western side of the wall. And then we'll see how well they do. Obviously, they can go into the tunnel. As far as I'm aware, nobody actually went into the tunnel. And... Okay. Good to know. Nobody has gone into the tunnel, but... When you're in spectator mode, the game doesn't recognize when you're in the tunnel anyway. And I apologize for any seasickness or, you know, flying sickness. I'll put that down to 20 so it's a little bit slower for you guys. We'll go up into the sky a little bit. R reverse this time. Got to do some fancy things. Gaking, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh, guys, guys, chill. You know, we're all, we're all friends here. I think. <laughs> No need, no need to be mean. Right, so the attackers have pushed through and they are getting A because the defenders have completely pulled back. And if I was paying attention, I would have seen that the defenders were not set up in any way, shape or form to defend A or B. Um, obviously doing that, it means they can have a lot more numbers to control, like to, to, to defend the end point. 
And it looks like they're not even going to def defend C. Interesting. So this is Zoo on the defense. And they are mainly EU2. We will find out if this is a mistake in a second. But my gut feeling is telling me they should have defended C. Um, that being said, though, they only have to really defend two points of entrance now. Um, so it might pay off for them. It might pay off them. Robo, nine voices gone. Is the voice better like this? Is it over, dog? And how are you doing, bud? Hello, motherfucker. I mean, the whole point that I got a new microphone is because I was hoping that it would sound better and I would sound ni nice and crystal clear. It was mainly, though, to be fair, due to um, Discord. Because on Discord, uh, apparently I sounded like absolute dog ass. So I was like, you know what, let's sort that out. So we got some Shenjis up there. They were going to try and bomb down, but then they got counter-bombed by the defenders. I do like the fact that there's some mortarage down here as well from the defenders. Obviously, the attackers are going to start placing mortars everywhere. I like that it's on the back wall. You get slightly more range because it's a higher elevation. And they can start bombing. Um, ooh, Culverin shot, though. I think he literally just threaded the needle, got that straight through the palisade here and took that out. That was a very nice shot. So the defenders have got a couple... Ooh, this longbow up here with the cheeky culverin getting rid of artillery as well. It might have been him that got rid of it, actually. That treb should take out the cannon. Mm, good shout, because the trebs basically on this back point are going to be absolutely useless. Um, they're going to be unlucky and it doesn't actually destroy the cannon. That is unlucky, man. That is unlucky. So the attackers obviously got a, a number of guys a musket now at the beginning of the game they didn't and I would love to just be at a tab and see all 30 players and tell you exactly who's changed but because the UI is absolutely amazing it's not possible to do that. Um, so they've obviously got muskets to start you know damaging stuff down and in the, in the hope that they can do as much damage as possible before they push through. They still don't have this wall down here but they are working on it slowly it's lost maybe 20% of its health and we will see how the rest of it goes. I do like this def defensive position here from the defenders so far, though. I don't know if Madowls are that good, though. Like, Madowls aren't that great at the minute. Um, unless they've got, like, a ninja buff or something that I didn't know about. But Fort Brachio's good. Obviously, Imperial Spear Guard's good. And Stalwarts are also good. Obviously, they're very close together. So, Shenji Bombs, Mortars, and all the rest of it should be able to do work on that. In the corner here, there's no Flames and no Falcon is. That's why you can't see any. They are, however, Shenjis, you just saw. Uh, and they can bring Zekalian as well. Um, apart from those two, though, they there are basically no other, uh, what do you call it? There are no other C or anti-CC or CC units. Um, strange that the attackers still don't have the wall down. I mean, they've got 16 minutes, so it's not like they're in a rush. Like, normally at this point, uh, you'd expect the fight to have gone on for quite a while by the time the, the attackers have got C. Um, but that's that's not the case here. So they're, they're already trebling at the back there. I don't know if they're going to really hit much. They might get a, a Shenji or two. I think they got rid of a couple of Shenjis there, but not really much. Um, I do like the fact that the defenders are just taking their time, to be fair. They've got they've got double the artillery, obviously. They've got the time to just, if not waste, really, but they've got the time to just, you know, set set themselves up, push in. I think what they really need to do with the attackers, though, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if we see this breach get destroyed. They'll push through and right, because there's barely any enemies here, and just push up this way and, ign and ignore all of this defense on this side. And if that happens and the defenders aren't quick enough to react to push these guys into sort of like block the breach, um, it's going to be a world of trouble for the for the defenders. Mm, so we'll see. So a couple of the attacking heroes just went down. They probably just uh, suicided off the wall somewhere trying to get rid of some of the enemy artillery. We do have a blister in the background here that's going to get trebbed now. Obviously only blue artillery allowed. Obviously blue ballistas still do quite a bit of damage, but... Have they nerfed the accuracy of Trebs? Because they just seem terrible so far. Yeah, there are multiple mortar bombs and all the rest of it going off in the corner. There are Shenjus down there. A couple, Quite a few Iron Reapers, actually, from the defending team. The attackers are building more and more artillery. Obviously, they've got double the artillery than the defenders. So they can afford to just uh, spam a little bit of artillery, concentrate on getting rid of the defending artillery, and keep working from there. I like the fact that the defenders have got a longbow up here, though. Uh, so he can just keep doing plink damage and maybe if he's got his uh, exploding arrow he can like hit formations down there. The, def the defenders, the attackers did have a longsword I believe though. I can't see a longsword on the map at the minute so possibly change to a different class. We'll see though. But there's, they, I think this this artillery phase is going to be quite long. The, the, the attackers have got time, they don't really need to rush it. 
They don't need to be like make any risk or stupid risks with their Shenjis. They can just keep them, try and keep them safe. And when they do come, move forward to bomb. Uh, do it in a manner where they're not gonna not gonna risk losing any. So bombs going over there. Did a good job hitting it. I think somebody black powder bombed as well to push them into it. Treb's going off in the back as well, doing really well. Unit wise, they're still fairly even. The attackers have got a few more. Obviously, the defenders should be losing more uh, more more units to to the attacking artillery. Uh, I think most of the defensive line here is pulled back. There's what maybe a third of a Fort Abracchio left on that side, and it looks like. Do you know what's surprising to me? I would have thought the Fatal Faction maybe would have pushed along the wall and cleared this tower already. Just pushed along there and maybe four, four or five uh, heroes and then just ruined the, the guys on the tower. And then maybe got into the back of this artillery on the grape shot and maybe... Oh no, you can't get up that side, can you? Never mind. Fatal, how are you doing, bud? What in the dog? Why do I sound like that? How do I sound like Fatal? You've been mean again. I should sound glorious. Oh, oh. Oh. Gifted sub again. Wait. No, Ying Sling Beng with a sub. Thank you very much, my guy. Thank you very much, my guy. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. I believe you are now what's called a founder, my dude. So the first 10 people that uh, subscribe to the channel, I believe it is, they, they get a nice little badge when they when they chat. Well, next to their name and it says like something like founder or something. I think it's something like that. But welcome, thank you. Well, welcome. You were already here, but you know what I mean. <laughs> much appreciated. Very much appreciated. Oh. oh. Is that another one or is that a glitch? Oh no, Lucum Nukum with a subscribe as well. Thank you very much, my guy. Much appreciated. That singing though. Like, have you ever heard such a beautiful angelic voice as me singing for subs? I mean, that's just glorious. Oh, that was a graphical glitch. I was like, why are the shields just pure white? Kind of look cool. So it looks like they're not even going to get the breach down. They've all come up onto the top here. And they... Oh, that is actually... That is similar to what I thought they might do. But instead of getting rid of the wall so they can't just push through, they've come all the way along this way. They can obviously treb this area. That is really nice play from Fatal Faction there. The treb basically hit nothing. Uh, maybe they should have waited to, to group up a little bit. But they've got so many Shenji bombs. They can just bomb this. There they go. There's the Shenji bombs. Ooh, the defenders did not enjoy that. And looking at it, the defending team don't actually have Shenji bombs. And kick fate, kick a fatal with the, the sub as well. Thank you very much, my guy. Much appreciated. Uh, the attackers here are absolutely steamrolling through. Like, unit-wise, they are absolutely wrecking them. The amount of Shenji bombs in it are put down. They've got a good number of shield maidens up as well. Stalwarts, Fort Brachio is pushing through. And the fact that they can just... Uh, artillery from the back here with grape shots as well is perfect. Shenji bombs coming through as well. There is a monastic charge. Monastic charge coming through. They didn't have the distance to get their to get their charge on though. Short sword, I think that was Silent Wraith. Stopped it in its tracks along with I think that was Lama the Joe. I don't know which one got the the thunder struck off, but they did very well there. Now a couple of the guys coming back for the supply. Some guys respawning back in with cavalry. It looks like camels, shield maidens. They're going to try catching some guys out. Bravo and Don Morales on the supply point, stopping people obviously from getting units out so they could get through. They are also oh apologies wrong button. They are also pushing through. I oh know the gate just got closed. I Malta is probably going to get ruined here. I Malta is going to get ruined here. Winkro is going to try and pull off. Malta might be able to get away because it's just the longbow. Although the chain dart from Dang Dang Alaska space might be able to get him, and Al I'm Altar's dead. I'm Altar only had oh no, he had a full unit of Shenji by looks it or half a unit maybe. It's difficult to tell, but that was a very nice push from Fatal Faction. So looking at the scoreboard now, they've got two Trebs left, and they have a 230 odd unit advantage, and it looks like they're going to push from this side, which I think is the best choice for the attacker. Um, you've got more options to treb, you've got more options to put place artillery. We've got to have a quick peek here. So they're hoping probably that the, the attackers come through that side. There is a grape shot in the corner there. Bob with a subscription, Broken, Sheen Guard, Glad Simon, and two. Oh, guys. You just want to hear the. Ah! <laughs> Much appreciated, guys. Fucking hell. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, though. This, this, maybe I shouldn't have done it so that my head was so big all the time. I should maybe turn that off because you can't see what's going on. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll change that quickly because... 
edit commands. I'll just delete those quickly and I'll put them back in. Because I want you to be able to see the match. I do appreciate the, the subs, but I want you to be able to see the match and not see my head all the time. But I much appreciated, guys. Nine's the King Bubbles game. Right, so we've got the attack coming through now from Fators. It looks like they push on to the right with quite a few guys as well. Ooh, cavalry charges from the defenders coming in from multiple directions. Very nicely timed. They got a couple off at the same time. This monastic charge was a bit anemic, though. I can't help but feel like he charged too late. Um, there is a lot of units back here. It looks like we've got Chevalier as well. We've got uh, multiple Shenjis. We do have a couple of the hero muskets. We've got a longsword here trying to get in. I think probably try to get rid of some of the Shenjis. He's died though to Tocho, I think. Oh no, it was Gladsheim's unit. They are pushing through fairly well. We've got Stalwarts blocked here. We've got mm, Modau even. Modau and Iron Reapers on the side there. I thought there was a flank coming, but there isn't. Uh, Unit-wise, the attackers have still got about a 200-unit advantage. They did, however, like the defenders did do slightly better on that attack than, or like on that trade, let's say, than they just did. There are some grape shots from the defenders facing the correct way. It looks like that the attackers are going to come through the other side now as well. They'll be able to get through easily and get rid of artillery as well. So nicely done. I can't help but think that Winkrow should have got off and got that grape shot gone though. He's in the back end. Oh, Shenji's is probably a better target though. Good point. That's actually very, very well done. Um, oh, short sword from the defender here. I, don't, I couldn't see who that was. Managing to stop a cavalry charge. Cataphract's coming through now as well. Possibly from Winkrow. The other side's completely wide open. Fatal Faction puffing through. I was trying to get an angle on this. So there is fighting going on on the back stairs. There is enough there to stop cavalry and stuff getting up by the looks of it. Although the defenders are pushing through now. Uh, this northern side or right hand side as we're looking, it seems to be fine. Fatal Faction is slowly getting control of this area. There's still enough of the defenders on the point that they can't quite stop them yet though. Still roughly a 200 unit difference. And it looks like the defenders are just about re-getting control of the point. There are no more... No, there's one more trip to go down. We do have Shenjis at the back here firing away and possibly getting bombs off in a second. Allison getting in there. Grape shots going off as well. Good pot shout from those guys to get clear of it. The reinforcements from Fatal Faction coming through and clearing off the top of the stairs though. They're going to be at a... Um, single out or like uh, surround the guys on point in a second and then they'll slowly be able to turn around and get control of the point i can't see i'm going to zoom quick in here there is nothing on the back stairs there on the minimap i can't see so the defenders still could get through that way there are still five or six defenders on the point at the moment although multiple shield maidens coming in now to help clear up the heroes is a very good move from fatal faction unit wise still 200 difference but it looks like it's gonna be too little too late i like the difference is the, the, the damage has already been done so it looks like Fatal Faction with the first attack, absolutely ruining people. Fire with a subscription, thank you very much. And now you can't see my ugly mug, so you can actually see what's going on. <laughs> and I'll go through the subs again if I missed anybody, guys, because uh, I was trying to commentate at the same time. But after this uh, this match is done, we'll obviously have a few minutes to, to cool down and have a look. Where's the fight, Drayton? I mean, it's a stomp, isn't it? It's just a massacre. A massacre. Absolutely glorious, though. That went really well for Fatal Faction, I'd say. I'd say they're happy with that. Obviously, I thought it was strange that Zoo just completely left A, B, and C. Um, they maybe should have challenged for C, tried to do in a defensive position where they did. We'll go, we'll go over the, the guys in a second. Oh, is this map going to load up? So they obviously had their main defense, or their first initial defense behind the C point. You should be able to see my mouse moving. Um, I can't help but feel like they should have dropped A and B and tried keeping maybe C and this supply point. Um, and when they lost that push, try setting up a defensive line behind C and then on the base point. Um, because by doing it like that, like, like making the fight area as small as possible means that the concentration of artillery that the attackers can bring to the table, they can just use them just on these last points. If they would have made them like fight for C, they'd have had to place down artillery to fight on the C. If they would have then defended behind C, they would have again have had to put down more artillery to, to hit back there and then still use artillery for the end point. So I don't know if that was the best play. That's maybe a good play to do it if you're playing on normal CB rivals and there is no artillery to be played. But I don't think that was the best shout there. As you can see on the hero difference as well, uh, the attackers killing 31 and the defenders losing... Uh, no, and the uh, defenders killing 11. You know what I mean. The attackers outkilled the defenders by literally uh, two thirds. We'll go through the MVPs now. So Step Bro Tikas, I think that is. I hate it that it doesn't show you the rest of the name, but he was MVP 
for Fatal Faction. He had 5, 1, 11, and 84. Highest units killed goes to Barbarossa with 106. Highest hero kills was 7 looking at it, and that was Bravo. Shout out to Bravo as well, by the way. It was Bravo, and I think Don Moralisman, um, when they pushed initially pushed through behind C, those two went onto the supply and blocked it so that the defenders couldn't get new units out. So that was a massive play there. I think they did it without units as well. They just went as heroes. Um... Highest assist was also Step Rose Ticasso. Congratulations. Let's have a quick look at Zoo. MVP goes to Lan Rumil. And I apologize that that water effect in game is so goddamn loud. It's at least melting my ears off. Um, but he had 0, 1, 3, and 84. He also had the highest units killed. Highest assist, it looks like, goes to Dangalax, whatever the rest of that name says. Um, he had five assists, exactly, and the highest heroes killed was only two, and that goes to Dangalax Space. Oh, so Dangalax is like a clan name or something, okay. And is that Dangalax Athetmen or something? This guy must be Strock, Strock something? I don't know. You can kind of read the names there. Apologies for not being able to see what the name says, but because the, the Dangalax part's so big, um, you can't really see it, but... Well, congratulations to Fatal Faction, but, you know, Zoo got hoofed in that fight. There was a p the point where I said here, yeah, that was when the defenders were getting, re-getting control of the end point, but the damage had already been done in this first engagement. Look at the difference on units killed in that first one. Um, so, yeah, very, very decisive attack from Fatal Faction. We will see how they do on the defense.